I started playing when I was about five or six with Band and Rugby Club. I played at the age above me, um, just in the minis or whatever. And been there um, ever since, um, up until I was about 18. I stuck with school for my final year and gave that a crack. And then after that, lucky enough to play in some uh, Munster 19s and then following on from that into um, some Irish 19s after Senior Cup and again lucky to go over to France and then into into the Munster Sub Academy and then following on uh, went into Cannes then the Irish 20s and then very fortunate to get um, an academy slot with Munster. Yeah it was brilliant I suppose you know um, you know very uh, happy to to get those triple crown but would have been a lot more happy and kind of fulfilled if we did get to finish off the campaign because it kind of feels at the moment like we we were a team that were good but we didn't quite do anything or, or um win anything as such so in terms of that it was brilliant and you know team performances and all that but you know it would have been lovely to to get that grand slam win and um, get to play those final two games it's been good. It's been very good to be fair. I was fortunate enough to, to be in a squad training. Like at the same time as learning often you're trying to compete against them um, and try and make it as competitive environment as you can. Um, but it's been brilliant. Um, you know, it's been the first taste of rugby um, in a couple of months and um, just looking forward to, to getting back and playing. With the kind of training over the last couple of weeks. Um, it's been a you know opportunity to get back in training, but as I said, it's it's been competitive at the same time, and I suppose that healthy competitive atmosphere is what drives the squad and creates depth. So um, yeah, hopefully, like it'd be it'd be unreal to get a, a cap, whether it's whatever it might be, um, you know, or whenever it might be. Um, but yeah, just driving that competitiveness in training and see where that takes me.